Agreement has been reached by the Intergovernmental Financial Action Task Force FATF to down on money laundering linked to the illegal wildlife trade. Environmental Investigation Agency EIA, has welcomed the decision taken at a meeting in Paris on 18 October 2019 to endorse a proposal by the Chinese government during its year-long presidency of FATF, the International Standard Setter in Anti-Money Laundering Actions. At the meeting's close, a summary of outcomes by the task force stated, the FATF will work to develop good practices in tackling the financial flows linked to illegal wildlife trade. This project will analyze common supply chains and payment methods, as well as case studies from countries that have experience in investigating the financial flows from illegal wildlife trade. It will also consider the role of public-private partnerships and international cooperation in combating this crime. The project is slated to complete in June 2020. Despite wildlife crime generating annual profits of between $7 billion and $23 billion, making it one of the most lucrative forms of transnational organized crime, the enforcement response in many jurisdictions remains inadequate. Potentially powerful tools such as anti-money laundering measures are rarely deployed, and for crime groups the illegal wildlife trade represents a high-profit, low-risk undertaking. The FATF commitment is long overdue. A survey by the UN Office on Drugs and Crime, UNODC, of 45 jurisdictions found that while 86% of them reported being affected by wildlife crime, just 26% of countries had conducted financial investigations into wildlife crimes, and in only 1% of cases were anti-money laundering laws used. Julian Newman, EIA Campaign's director, said, Anti-money laundering measures represent a crucial but underused tool in the fight against the organized crime groups driving endangered species towards oblivion for profit. EIA commends China, which is a major market for illegal wildlife products, for using its presidency of FATF to press for greater action against the illegal wildlife trade. An important aspect of the FATF regime are national. Risk Assessments, NRA, which countries must carry out to identify the main types of crime when in their territory where money laundering is a threat and then to demonstrate what measures have been taken in response. To date, few assessments have adequately addressed illegal wildlife trade, often due to the very low number of cases where financial investigations have been conducted. For example, Laos, which is an important transit and destination country for illegal wildlife, deems it to be a low risk for money laundering solely based on the lack of prosecutions in the country. By listing illegal wildlife trade as a priority, FATF evaluations of national risk assessments should ensure the threat level is properly recognized and measures put in place to counter it. Another key enforcement flaw is the dearth of financial investigations into illegal wildlife trade cases, representing missed opportunities to go after the criminal profits generated by wildlife traffickers and identify the syndicate bosses who rarely come into physical contact with illegal wildlife products but who certainly touch the money. One of the main FATF recommendations, which are used to gauge a country's response to money laundering threats, calls for parallel financial investigations where crimes have been committed which generate major proceeds. From EIA's experience of scrutinizing major illegal wildlife trade cases in Africa and Asia, such financial investigations are extremely rare. Newman added, all too often when major seizures of contraband wildlife, such as ivory tusks, occur, the onus is on publicizing the event rather than looking at the financial picture around it. Yet these consignments are worth millions of dollars and that money is not moving around as just cash but intersects with the global financial system. Asterisk Environmental Investigation Agency HTTPS colon slash slash a dash international dot org slash ec sick.